Football Night events are set down for decision at Club Malangal on Tuesday afternoon. Very solid program. And I would take the final four races as far as specials are concerned, commencing in race six with Bravo Stride for Joe and Mary Rando. A newcomer to their stable, unbeaten in two starts. Trialled very nicely on two occasions, in particular the latter taking out that particular trial in very good fashion. So Bravo has tried. We didn't buy Bailey McDonough, one of a number of drives on the car Bailey has with very bright prospects of greeting the judge. And moving over to race seven, nicely drawn in gate two is Shan Lu, a very consistent mare, coming off a second when first up for Jack Trainer. She had been off the scene for five or six weeks, so she will strip fitter. She met with very strong support, in fact started a $1.30 favourite, led and did have every possible hope, was run down late over the concluding stages by Meraki, but I think Meraki is a very talented type. So Shan Lu, good draw, fitter for that run. I think we'll be making amends for the last start defeat, which was costly to punters. Moving over to race eight at number eight, Bainbridge. Hasn't raced since late March when taking out the gold chalice at Bathurst. A very solid performer for the informed James Rattray team. Now we go to race eight on the card at number eight, Bainbridge for James Rattray. Back from a spell, hasn't raced since late March when successful in taking out the gold chalice at Bathurst. Now Bainbridge has been a very solid performer throughout his nine starts and I think on the particular trial in finishing second to Promised Land, James has him pretty close to the mark. I think his class will take him the rest of the way. Moving over to race nine and Bailey McDonough has another very strong drive here. An eagle watch, a newcomer to the local scene and Bailey, one of the rare horses he has in his name as a trainer. Now eagle watch has been very sparingly raced over the last 12 to 16 months. Has patchy form in Victoria but I did like his trial here in finishing third behind Promised Land in Bainbridge. So if Bainbridge runs up to expectations in race eight, then jump aboard Eagle Watch now. Sat three pegs throughout the trial, and at no stage did Bailey release the grip that he had at the start of the race to the end of the race, and at no stage did Eagle Watch get clear running. In fact, Eagle Watch no, didn't get the chance to stretch his legs even past the post. Well, my thoughts for the very solid night event program here at Clumman Angle on Tuesday afternoon. Until next time, good punning.